Bombside. Zachary's gonna take a lot of the pressure away, deal with these three players pushing, and he'll buy just a couple of seconds. Yeah, both Yeah, both shock darts being expended, but not exactly a bad idea. Again, great, great job from Scuba. Just delaying time of that util. Everyone from KCP is here. But not everyone from FaZe Clan is in the middle of sight. You still have Corey sitting around B main and KCP waiting out for the recon ball to eventually make their take. Odorous with a spray, but it all goes awry. Oh! In the middle of sight! It's a firing range for him as he gets last three, but game. still a two on two. Corey now the last one remaining in a 1v2. Oh, has a nade. It could kill both. JMO going down low, but still not dead. Down to 14. One He's shot. finally down. Corey with a fake peek. Scourge is down to 17. One shot to the body will do it. Corey in a one. Almost still in a default with just about 45 seconds left. Let's get a little bit scary but baby bay bigger menace in this situation is going to open us up with a first jmo be obscured by the smoke now he's pivoted back to a main but zachary's fight here and these two players in b main it's definitely looking like a b split in baby bay it's one of the primary factors but odor is quick to punish scourge knocked down at 27 they shouldn't expect zachary in this position and they don't at all he's good for two and that's opened up the b bomb site for a three versus two site's been taken up the bonus, like we said earlier, for FaZe Clan, and they're looking good to maybe close it out here. And Baby J has that SMG, and he's an optimal angle to do so. Up close and personal right outside a garage. But it's Rockus that really has to watch out. He has to be that first contact for his teammate. Baby J, he has hidden right into market. They're going to check the angle. Baby J going to be able to get one. Now it's a crossfire for Scuba. Scuba has no clue where these players are, but he turns back. Great intuition from Scuba. Getting up that first onto Rockus, but the spray wasn't enough. Scuba, he started to back out. And Baby J with Kansas City Pioneers, still mostly with the Sheriffs. A uh, couple of kills here would actually still help them out in at least keeping pace yeah. with the economy. I think more importantly, we're looking at an old orb battle where KCP going into the next round, a very crucial one at that, has no ultimates. At this point, they're going to run on and they're going to try to fight. And indeed they are. Here comes Odorous coming up from oh, behind over in A main. And he ends up getting the kill. Scuba with another one. Two players over towards heaven. Scuba with a second kill. Jamos caught in the crossfire. And it's actually Physic back with a kill. Core now in a 1v2. Has the Phantom, and now Corey still has to fight up against Ooh. the Ross yet, and he's got the knives to play off of an entry, but lockdown available yeah. to play the post man, and you can already see kind of the way that KCP have adjusted. A lot more focus, I'd say, towards this B side where these two players are kind of understanding this could be where the hit comes from. Mm, but as oh, this no. hit is more or less happening, there's control of a main back for KCP. Corey, unless he gets something through this nebula, he's not going to be able to get a kill off the showstopper. And indeed he won't. But it's a man advantage KCP as FaZe now have full control here of the A site. But maybe not the vicinity! Odor is coming up from heaven. Scourge at the same time over towards A main. Multiple kills going down. Zachary and Baby Bay, they are sandwiched right into the middle. And Odorus is kind of playing with a retake setup over towards the A side. Here on B though. Jamo is good to find that first pick. Clearly that injury not affecting him whatsoever. One player though, Baby Bay, and a huge lurk. Mikey caught off here by Odorous. The angle. Did he spot him? I swear he spotted him. Oh. He's gotta get this kill. He's definitely gotta get this trade. Thank the Lord, Odorous. You finally get it done. <laughs> I thought for sure he saw him off the first contact. And while Corey's gonna be quick to explode, Scuba in the exact same angle puts it to a 4v2. And he transitions back over towards Cat, where Rockus is thinking about peeking too. Out goes the recon. Scuba is pinged. He's exposed and trying to get the kill. But Odorous right from behind. His teammate watches his six. And he gets this. It's the opping Sage. And early on, that Owl drone exposes both of their positions. JMO, he had the cheese, Ooh. but he ends up getting destroyed back. Baby Bay from the oh, top. Oh, this row, is ridiculous. Two, and now he's still alive. It's a 3v3. As now Baby Bay, he has swept open this entire mid side defense. However, the east side is not open just yet. There's still one person in the back line. It's Physic waiting out for his opportunity to start spraying. Phase, they haven't made their approach just yet. They're still around. And finally, yeah, they can make the pop. There goes the ping. This site should be theirs. There's a cosmic divide in the back line. And my, oh my, it's such a confusing 3v3. Because what do you do with Physic? They need to micromanage these two players. And indeed, they are. Baby Bay with a big kill onto Odorous. Rock is finally catching up with Physic in the back line. And Scuba.
Oh man, it's a 1v3 and a hope. He could surely try. Baby Bay extremely, extremely low on HP. Just a body shot would do it, and indeed he gets it. Scuba, honestly, he doesn't even need to attempt for this, but of course he can. It's a 1v2, but he could play these exits pretty well. Yeah. Scuba waiting out for his opportunity. He definitely not allow Zachary to make using that Hunter's Fury. And the rest of Face Gun, they seem a little bit lost. Corey's now called upon that showstopper to make more space and get all the way into the back. Ooh. Looking to punish again. These players rotating in. My phase is really trying Ooh. to fight out this back line. Big miss over towards Garage. Baby Bay gets a Corey. second opportunity for it. No, it's a crossfire. Baby J surprising Scuba as now Physic in a 1v3. A very possible one at that. Both Zachary and Baby Bay incredibly low on HP. Physic has nowhere to go. Stuck behind the nebula. Baby Bay thinking about the peak. He got a weird, weird scenario once again. It is incredible to me that FaZe Ooh. keeps trying to fight that back line. Buddy, directly in a line of sight. FaZe Clan just keeps stacking, stacking smokes. Oh, but Baby oh! Bay! Baby Bay doesn't get anything from it, but instead it is everyone else from FaZe Clan on the ground that end up getting the kills. Jamo oh, with a shoulder peak, he ends up getting the kill. Now Jamo going down disastrously in HP, but he has a lot of bodies next to him sully and phase they have almost completely backed out jamo he's still aware about the danger of zachary he finds him but jamo still not safe enough to go for oh! a he searches for the kill and now jamo down a man all alone find a way to create an advantage get aggressive be the fighter and that's what he's gonna do he's gonna change up this post point just a little bit and he's trying to anticipate these rotations only a recon bolt checks back to mid sees nothing this is the position where he could probably win this They would never expect Rockets to just be playing oh, back oh, oh. B main in a 1v2, but they're going to find oh, that out very quickly. Watch out. The same opping Sage is in heaven on A, ready for that first contact over in mid. It is a crossfire. Physic takes down Zachary off the contact. There goes Jamo. The lockdown goes down. And now FaZe, who had the ulti advantage, only has uh, three men remaining. Oh my, Odorus is coming in from a huge fun. You would expect Odorus to be coming in from like Garden to play the lockdown, but no. He's instead looking to use this lockdown for the back of A main. If not his team, we're gonna close it out. Nonetheless, Jamo, he sent out a couple of shots. He's not gonna find the finisher just yet, but Odorus coming in from the back lines. That lockdown yeah, now yeah, coming yeah, into yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Love it. It forces everyone to spread, and now Odorus, he ends up winning out the battle against Rockus. Corey with a double kill, but it's only and slow down this push. No star presented in front of B main, so this quick play and Baby Bay going down instantly. Where's the response? Only again, those Ooh. shock darts to delay, and well, all of them are kind of falling apart here. And the counter wall at the exact same time, that is Jamo with an absolute plethora of damage. Oh, it is Rock wow. is down to 5 HP. A running frenzy would do it. Rock is was just looking for a headshot and a hope, but otherwise, Kansas City Pioneers chilling here on the B site. Corey does have a little bit of utility. Zachary has almost none. He places one nebula over towards B main. There's absolutely nobody there from KCP. Still gonna wait out for Jamo. Jamo actually wants to go for a little bit of an early peek. Zachary going out. Doesn't exactly have a lineup, but has the information post mortem. It is. Oh, not Baby Bay. Still getting, still getting choked out. In comes Rockus. From that back angle off the shorty, Scourge trying to survive. He actually resets a little bit. We could have seen Scourge potentially survive, but Baby J, great follow-up. And now it's a man advantage for FaZe, who once again are only down to pistols, at least when it comes down to the A defense. Corey going in, going to be able to get one big one onto Jamo. But it is now a 2v2 Spectres v Spectres. And Baby Bay is here almost immediately. Where is the punch? Towards Jenny, oh! Baby Bay. So clean with the double dink. And, and Scuba, main. he can't even get the spike down. He doesn't know. Like you said, there's one A main. Oh! Here comes That's the it. swing. And somehow, someway. All coming out from no, no, Baby no, no. Look Jay. at all the armor. Look at the armor. <laughs> it's tagged a little bit. <laughs> like I said, paper cuts coming in from, uh, from Rockus. So... I'm not exactly efficient. 
the rest of KCP in the middle of the site. Sully JMO watching the cross. A little bit of util being set up as FaZe has a whole lot of it to try to expend on the retake. No you uh, no ulties whatsoever. So again, it is just dry. Or are they planning on a crossfire yeah, though? I really feel like FaZe kind of not attempting this retake. They just want to get exits here. And yeah, maybe FaZe already made a run. You don't lose that operator at any cost. And well, oh, that's ult dang. online for Corey, and he's got two kills at the head ready. They're looking for more. Look at Baby's position. This is no. utterly perfect for Baby Bay. It's only one player standing. It's oh. no one standing. Armor and utility is scarce. Oh, Cor oh, oh no, 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 Corey. Odorous. He's somehow going to punish for two. Oh. Odorous coming up huge. And even for a third, Odorous. Hey, he's got the lockdown, but I don't even think they're going to need it. KCP. From around that they won, losing all five players might be walking out with a flawless. Fingers crossed. And KCP, they know they need it. And Odorous, he's not done hunting Gus. Bro, I'm, I'm getting scared. Oh, Odorous. Odorous. This guy is just what? scary, dude. The sheriffs. It's not a chic around, but it may as well should be. Corey picks us off with one. And Baby Bay towards Cat as well. This is fantastic. Coming out again, the two star players finding all five kills. Looking to hold up a little bit over towards that heaven area. Zachary holding it oh, back. No. There goes the boost and three players getting essentially a bit of a piece of the pie when it comes to Zachary. Out goes that kill. Spike is currently down. Now only a man advantage is now KCP. Again, almost every ultimate that they have to expend. Yeah, and they have stars stacked upon that, that spike. Swarms, I don't think just yet. No, never mind. Just the singular. Scourge underneath the heavens. It's a 4v5, and it's not out of the question yet. It's gonna take one hell of a feat, and those are kills to kick it off. And baby Bay still continuing to hold off that A-man area. These defenders. Still almost with full, full, full <gasps> control Odorous. of this area, but out goes that detain. JMO gonna be able to get one. They Baby Bay go. having to back on out. Physics still holding it, but touched by the nano storm has found a little bit of a gap to slip through and an easy kill to kick it off. Hunter oh, early on for Rockets too, and he scatters the mid side at the same exact time though it is Scourge and JMO holding back on what was an attempt from FaZe. Taking advantage of the hunt. Out and well, he's got even got to get the heal as well. There goes the cosmic divide. Stars deploy as well and well. Everything falls on Zachary. Mm, they don't even know Zachary's here yet, but no. Whoa. He starts to go for a wide swing, but he runs into the cosmic divide. He still gets one, but it's only going to be one. And it's simply just compensation for what was a good position anyways. It's KCP that has won this fair and square, and they're going to continue to fight it. That owl drone. Hanging out at least one wasn't able to spot the second, so they currently have no clue where Rockets is, but now they do. Rockets pulls out a shock oh, dart. Oh, oh. They can hold up over in main, but out goes a quick kill from Baby Bay. Double up trap from Baby Bay. He still has a player over in the corner to try to oh to try to focus on, but Physic gets him. JMO off the crossfire. Ready for the retake of B main, but Baby Bay should be able to strike first. Oops. Yeah, Baby Bay still with that first contact. Takes down Odorous, moves back into the oh. B site. Continued to get a second. We're seeing Hunter's Fury over towards the A side, but I think the spike was actually spotted. This isn't even a fake opportunity. This is really just phase playing time. Ori Showstopper running out. He's still on top of this double stack, or at least the stone pile, and Zachary. His position's not even revealed yet. Still Corey in that prime position. Now the spike has 100% been revealed, and JMO suddenly left alone as phase clan strike in 11th here. KCP with not much. Uh -oh. Baby J can, and two stars lined up. It's almost. Perfect here for phase plan. Oh, but Corey, oh. he almost gets caught off guard. Nade. Throws in an in. J oh, oh, J -Mo. oh. oh my god. What is going on? I am so confused. JMO goes out, gets a kill on top of the wall. Double main? Are you kidding me? KCP. No, with only two players remaining after the dust oh of size. Goodness. Make it only one. Scuba now the last oh, one remaining oh, oh, oh. in a 1v4. It's sight physic is gonna clear to try and make it safe, but little do they know. <laughs> oh my god. Sully, for old someone old. for somebody that desperately needs an old point right now, it is funny that they're making odorous uh, entry at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but in they go. They don't even need the lockdown oh, to make it go. It. And now odorous, he gets the kill back onto rockets. There's still one in the back of sight. Baby J. Booting up actually a oh. lockdown very, very early on. Scourge not only going to be able to get the kill, but also take down the lockdown. Baby Bay has the angle. And now this post plant could certainly be helped out. Physic. 
Still sitting around that corner. In comes the exact, the cosmic divide. It's gonna cover up the back of sight. Out goes the wide swing from Scourge. Scourge, he counteracts Baby Bay. There's another person over towards short. It's Corey thinking about the peak. All three players from KCP out in the open, trying to hold off against two of faith. Zachary goes out, gonna go down to Scuba. One more remaining, and it's Corey. It's all. It is already an approach over towards that mid side. FaZe already has two already over towards Garage. Good fight from KCP. They have essentially abandoned the B site by going in. That's the spike. Name. That's the spike. Whoa. Scourge is here wait, as well. Wait, wait. He's got a chance for a free kill here as well. Two to come. No. Zachary no. there to deny. Odorous. He could keep fighting this. What is going on? Oh, they have. No. They had spike control. That call out should have been made. I mean, it, it is... Kind of just hindsight at this point. Again, it is still more or less an even battle, but it is very unfortunate that Odorous, alongside Scourge, weren't able to hold back that spike. Again, opportunity on a silver platter, Maybe but they got to keep going. Three more players remaining for KCP. FaZe have control of the B site, and they can continue to take control of the B site as they get another kill. Scuba gonna go for a wide swing, gonna be able to get one. Zachary is the only representative here on site, but it is only a 1v3. Scuba. If he wide swings now, this nebula goes down. He's getting flanked and he knows it. Scoob is just taking this one by one. Now he knows where the last two are. That, that market door breaking, but the util is definitely making this a lot more contested. A crossfire being held from the stairway. There's one. Oh, no. Scuba with eight bullets. He's got a 1v1, but Zachary only one round away as KCP back on the offensive side. This is the side that they were able to bring us to OT. Indeed it was. Indeed it was. It's, you know, I, I four rounds on a first uh, Okay, round. okay, okay. And not only 44 rounds, but also like a break in the middle, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Folks, we might not have to do that. FaZe just got the first kill. It is Baby Bay over towards the mid side, getting a big kill back over towards... At least the backside of B main, but still you gotta watch out for the rest of KCP still sitting over towards A main. They are waiting potentially for Physic to either make a contact over towards B or... Just make a little bit more space. KCP! Oh my goodness! No way! Not dedicated to this whatsoever! At this point, have the crossfire going over in short. They actually back out going over towards bathroom. So now the take from KCP starts a little bit, but it's never going to go into full effect until we see that Viper wall go down. Odorous, oh, Odorous. Has himself perfect. Perfect. He uses the wall as a 50-50, and he's able to take down Zachary in the back line. But little do they know, again, it was a stack from FaZe. Two players at the moment coming in from bathroom. One on the flank over towards short. Out goes the kill from Odorous in the back line. Baby Bay on that flank. He's able to get a little bit of damage. And now Baby Baby J is starting to help. Everyone from FaZe is hounding. And now it's their time. Baby J from around the corner now in a 1v2. Oh. But he runs out of bullets. Scuba takes him down. Kane from Pioneers, and that's where the gimmick play comes in with those footsteps. We'll recap what just happened in just a little bit, but now in we go. It is oh, phase no way. on the retake, and it is what? an absolute massacre of the Kansas City Pioneers. The boost wouldn't have much impact. Now, Corey, off of the showstopper, is going to get deep, deep space. Now, there's really nowhere Ooh. for him to go, but he still finds two <laughs> on 10 HP. He is snappy right now. It really is. Corey wow. was feeling so confident earlier too. I mean, he was playing. He was playing B contact. He was playing solo B oh contact flank too. in right side of mid. And now look at this. No it's a flank way. from Baby Bay, who's not only going to be able no to get way. one, but only one. But out goes at least the rest of the hopes for KCP. Spike is down at the bottom of mid. Zachary has showstopper. Most likely off of this contact. Well, Baby Bay's just going to find the first regardless. I'm curious to see where this recon bolt goes, um, though. Uh, where is it going? That it's gonna land, it's gonna land middle of B site, and not only that, not only just middle of B site, but also run in front of Tin Can. Great lineup for that recon bolt. We've seen that recon bolt a couple of times. Very, very good one at that. No now in comes Corey. He only has a singular satchel oh! to use, but it's right through the smoke that Corey thrives. That now, Rockus. I don't know if he's going to get baited by this, but there's a TP right next to him, and he's just keeping an eye on it. Baby Bay, however, popping out over towards short, over towards elbow. There goes a big kill. Literally everyone runs. Everyone scatters. And that's exactly what they wanted here in the B side. There's nobody posted up for phase. Or, excuse me. 
Posted up for KCP right right outside of it, except for Odorous. Odorous is actually on a wild flank over towards mid. Corey does end up getting halted. He tries to go for it. Out goes the retake. On. Baby J and Zachary trying to help out, but they both go down a heap. Corey, who was spotted over in mid just a little bit ago, now has to approach in hookah. That nade perfectly placed. Scourge has gone over towards the other side, but my, oh my, Scourge does not go far away enough to try to survive. And he is so Holding. perfect for Trigger Corey. Discipline. Trigger discipline is perfect, but no! Trigger discipline was all right for a quick second. Out goes at least the Roll Thunder, and the Rolling Thunder is going to help Corey try to help out. Out goes, oh no, in goes the Dimension Drip, but even then he comes back and he still gets a kill. Physic at the same time with two more kills coming out from the short side. Out of nowhere, FaZe Clan is now down two men. It's just getting so hard to decipher how these rounds are going to pan out. You expect Corey with that crazy flank, but Scuba flipping his head last second gives the warning. Allows his teammates to, to not all go down and said he's the only one to fall and now that worthy worthy sacrifice Let's put Rockus in a 1v3 and that fake footstep. I don't know if Rockus is wary of the fact that it was I mean Jamo was playing in showers, so he might be wary of that fact. However, he's not watching his flank He's not watching his back and Rockus in a 1v3 Only a recon bolt everyone playing a post plant crossfire and even if these two players were to fall there is Jamo right behind so Fourth round here. He is, you know, gonna get a couple of exits at the very least. You, you can maybe remove Jamo's operator, but not much was to come from this, I think, nonetheless. No. Rockus. Ooh. So small, and he's gonna go into Astral Form. He's gonna get punished Ooh, as he comes out of it. Hood comes off, and he goes down. Baby J, there at least for one for one. He does remove at least Jamo, the entry fragger. Is now Corey trying to reassess the danger, pushing down towards long as a chance to an untake for how this round is going to play out. It's up to these two and a lovely first headshot. Now down to Rockus. Rockus. Again, not exactly the most optimal gun for this type of scenario, but in we go. He's still going to try it. He does fumble the bag a little bit, but baby Bay Ooh. had the lineup almost taking down Scuba. Barely any time remaining, and look at that TP away from Scuba. This establishes a crossfire. Baby Bay with that updraft, he hugs the wall. He has exposed the spike over towards Long, and three players face Clan with a textbook start. Corey pushed all the way down just off of that showstopper alone. A huge battle going on in Uka. What is this scourge? What? Striking for a man advantage. They had information, but more importantly, Sully, they had control. They very, very early discombobulation oh of the God, defenders, of the rushing defenders gets cut off. But out goes FaZe. They abandon and they go all the way back into their own spawn as two players from FaZe, Baby Bay and Corey, the dynamic duo, head their way up. Uh, up into long it is a disastrous scenario not for kcp where yep. phase they have counteracted that whole early take yeah it's a perfect counter as well you send in literally just one fault line and the push just gets disrupted instantly i don't know if that's a direct read from phase but it worked out phenomenally now a 4v3 damage done onto scourge a little bit onto raucous and corey never mind not a little bit a whole lot onto raucous and corey and one of them has already fallen show Fault line showed, and well, Zachary's there at least for a good cross. Last two players to fall, oh. Zachary. Corey looking to close this gap. Scourge is going to fail using the gate crash to get out. However, a nice hold from Physic. They're going to at least lock things into place for now. However, Face Clan mm. slowed in their tracks, and not much they can do to get out. Oh, no, but Sully, they're still playing contact. Oh, That's what? all they really needed to do. Phase, they wait their opportunity to get some kills on the board, and it's really just KCP walking into their- The death will get you the Viper's Pit charge, Gus, but that's really about it, and he'll be granted- Oh, there you go. Yeah, he'll be granted it, at the very Huge. least. No, that's actually- that's actually massive. Odorous now. He's gonna play this, uh, last bit out in whatever way he wants in in my eyes. I'll break down. Now in comes FaZe, an explosive setup over on the A site. They dash their way on. It's gonna be Scuba and Odor is trying to hold back the line. Viper's Pit set up right in the middle of the bathroom, but it's gonna break down. Zachary ends up getting the kill, dissipating it, but now the nade is gonna force him away. Zachary is still alive. A one man advantage. Now for the Kansas City Pioneers as FaZe, they're still trying to head onto this A site. One of the players is isolated. He's physics. smoked out in the middle of bathroom. Scourge and Scuba, they now have the crossfire scourge. 
Still staying quite chilling, and there you go. That's what they were waiting for. Waiting out for the flank from Physic. As now it's Corey and Zachary. Zachary starts off with a big one. Corey with another one. Whoa! Over He's going to be able to get a second. Amazing response from Corey. Scourge! Scourge has it all! Oh my word! Scourge! No! Oh He's my! Not get the kill at all! Moment to decompress for the both of us, but we're just going to have to keep on going, aren't we? Yeah. Three players in the back of B that have to face on five. In comes the early ulti. Making his way through. Baby Bay is going to take that bait. Out goes JMO still getting the kill onto Baby Bay. Scourge. Dimensional drift away. Way, TP in the back of spawn, wonderfully done in terms of a uh, distraction that allows Scuba takes up that control over an elbow. Physic with the cross. What? Still right through the smoke. That's Baby J with a massive kill. Zachary now in a one v two. Sees one around the corner. That's Scourge. Physic now down to 50 HP. Look at the angle. Zachary he has no space for this. Was the cosmic divide, Baby Bay? Planting in the middle of his smoke, and not a bad idea whatsoever. It's in a totally non-default position. But that just means that phase, they need to have a massive, massive focus here in U-Hole, alongside Bathroom. And now that Cosmic Divide is going to fall, leading into the action. Baby J is going to be able to get that first one. KCP have a couple of players over towards short. Out goes the kill from Corey. He's able to get a second. Still not Baby J. Last one remaining in a 1v2. He has a Sheriff. Going to be able to get the kill. Baby J can play time. He has the angle. Look at that headshot position. On to Scuba. Scuba. He's not defusing. He's still going for the wide swing. Are you I don't insane? believe it. What are you doing? The cross is still being developed. You can see at least two players back in the middle of the A side trying to help out. Out goes Baby Bay. Baby Bay actually ends up getting that kill. That's crazy. Now in goes the Rolling Thunder in such an awkward angle that ends up knocking at least at least Scourge out. But look, the interdimensional drift, and he's able to make his way through. He stays alive at just about 50 HP. But again, everything has essentially flipped. FaZe have a lot of control of this A site. Everything except for the Radiant Knight box. Now all is calm, Sully. 50 seconds left in the round. Rockus is in pass back. That operator, Baby Bay, still with these knives. Flash on out. Fault line charge in another 30 seconds. But the spike cannot make a safe plant. There are two players still here. One has been pinged out. Scuba. It's going to be good to find Baby Bay working, trying to work his way back into showers. And now Baby J with this rifle. It's Rockus with Yop. Okay. 20 HP still for him. This operator needs to go big. They know the location of two here on this A bomb site, but that third still eludes them. Scourge forced into the open and a huge kill to give them the spike plant, but Scuba still remains. And they have an inkling where Scuba is. Rockus has the angle. He's going to be able to spot him. And he finally gets the kill. No, it's a 1v2. An odorous. He has to do it all. KCP, their hopes land on his shoulders, at least for this round. And we go 20 HP on Baby J. Odor is going to go for the wide swing. But it's only one operator bought up from Baby Bay. He passes it over. Him getting that single kill to put him on knives and passing the operator to Rockus didn't necessarily win them around, but made it a whole lot easier in that two versus three situation where. Oh, Scourge! Point blank flash goes right in, and he's only going to be able to get one, but a massive one at that as he spots out the spike. Viper wall down, no toxins left, and Jamo's still in the back. You obviously have the Viper Odorous now here to reinforce, but it's only going to be a stinger. Baby Bay takes up Ooh. the positioning. Crossfire being held by everyone here on phase is Odorous. Last in the back of sight, there's not much that Physic can do in a 2v3. HP low for two on phase, it is doable. Oh, Physics jumping on through. He's going to be able to get a big one. They know that Scuba is over towards Who Canal. And this crossfire could finish it off. Rockus and Long. Zachary in the back of sight. No spot from Rockus just yet. Scuba is just playing this time. Will the peak even come in from Rockus? Zachary trying to push oh. out the scenario. There goes the headshot angle. Scuba now playing out the other angle. Trying to go back into long. He has a lot of decision making. It's a 50-50. Oh. Get the headshot. No way. Gets another one. Scuba now in a 1v1 against Rockus. 16 HP combined between the last two players. This is for survival. Scuba escapes throughout that back line. Scuba. Oh. No. Go. 